Hey there guys, today's lesson hopefully will be a bit of fun. It's definitely not a particularly organized lesson. It's just a collection of ideas, but hopefully some of them are interesting to you. It's about like a Western film soundtrack music, cowboy music, that kind of thing. We all know that imagery of the, the horseman galloping into the sunset, the, uh, the pistols at dawn, duel outside the saloon in the old Western town, all this kind of stuff. It has a musical imagery that goes with it. It's one of my biggest influences. It's something I really like and it's something I get asked about a lot. So I thought I would show you, as I said, not really a coherent lesson, rather a selection of ideas, and maybe we can get you a bit closer to sounding like you're in your own Western film or something like that. One of the major concepts of that, that style is the horse gallop. So always that music is about the, the, the cowboys or so often or something like that. So the gallop. <laughs> It's basically a triplet. Da 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 da. You can do it with a pick, nice and slow to start with. And I usually do a one before it. So rather than go da da one triplet, two triplet, one da 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 da. I go one da 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 two da 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 one. to do that kind of thing. Um, one of my favorite chord progressions, which if you've followed this channel before, A minor, E major, it'll never do you wrong. That's the E, now the A minor. That's a bit of fun. Also, um, something I get asked a lot, on this channel, I play in a group called Calidad, if you didn't know. Um, one of our songs is called The Wild Wild Western, which is based all around these ideas. So I'll quickly show you those chords, whether or not you're interested in Calidad. These chords might be interesting for you anyway. That's an A minor, but just at the fifth fret. Just like we were, then F, F major, G major. And the reason I chose those F and G chords is so it's like that A minor is your home key and then the F are bringing us back to, so we're always coming back to that sound. One of the most iconic um, little trills in, in that kind of music is from like the good, the bad, the ugly. So on the G string, zero, open two, if you just go. And that's one either finger strike or pick stroke. And then a trill. Da -da -da. That's pretty pretty authentic Western. I was doing some stuff today, so I was going like... So you do a bit of the gallop. And it's that same rhythm. Dun, da, da, dun. So we might just take our pick and let's choose the top E string. We're going one, one, two, three. One, da, da, da. Dun, da, da, da. Was the, the picking for the trip is down, up, down. So it's one, down, up, down. Just do a little melody. That's on the B string. I found if you do that, dun, 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 and then play a little melody, it always sounds good. Improvising there, I'll give you some notes that are fun to improvise. I was on the high E string then, but you can go to the A string, the fifth string. And if we go using the notes zero, two, three, five, seven, let's just start with those. Zero, two, three, five, seven. Let's see if we can make some melodies. seen my lessons before you might be a bit confused and if you have you'll understand that what I like to do is give you concepts which you can use to improvise and you can use to discover the guitar so this is not a lesson where I 
try and teach you something note for note. So let's where I give you some ideas. The palm muting as well is really important. So let's say we're doing an E major chord. The galloping rhythm at a, at a basic level might be like, and that's fine. But what's really cool is if I use the fleshy part of my palm here, palm mute. See how the guitar sounds a lot more muted and thicker? If I take it off, it's brighter. If I put my palm back, deeper and thicker. So you can do a gallop alternating between this palm muted sounds and the open sound. I love that sound. So boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, where the boom is the palm. the same thing when you're doing those kind of melodic notes as I showed you on the A string. So I'm kind of palm, when I go boom, boom, boom at the start of the lick, I'm palm muting. And then I may release the palm mute for the second part of the lick. That's the kind of thing I hear a lot in Western films. I've got, um, I'm on quarantine like most of the world here in Australia. I got my hands on a 12 DVD set of the world's greatest Western films. It's got like 3,000 minutes of films. Might be more than that, I can't remember. But um, a lot. I think it's 3,700 minutes of Western films on 12 DVDs. So I've been busy. And uh, that sound continues all through many of the soundtrack. So good scales to use. A natural minor. Which is just the notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Um, also, you can do a slight variation where it would be with the G sharp. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. It's a good one. Obviously, it depends what key you're playing in and what chords you're playing in. Um, e, you can go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Descending, that would be E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. And the other thing I might um, suggest to you in this Western style guitar playing, I want to say yesterday, I think it was two or three days ago, I posted a YouTube video called Lazy Spanish Guitar to Play on the Porch. In that lesson, I explained a concept I call free time, which is where you're kind of not playing in a 4-4 four, four, or 6-8. You're not playing in any time signature, you're playing literally in free time. So I'm not counting a bar here, I'm not counting the beats, just when when you feel like playing. It can work really well to build some tension for as long or as short as you want. I won't slow this lesson up too much, but hopefully you get the point. There you have you. that's just a few ideas a few tidbits hopefully someone likes it hopefully someone's sitting out there watching going hey that's pretty cool I'm gonna have some fun playing guitar today that's all I can ask that's all this channel has ever been about thank you for watching let me know in the comments how these lessons are working for you and if there's any way I can improve or ways that you would like me to focus in on certain things I do read as many of the comments as I can. Sometimes they get buried because I get a lot these days. So sometimes they kind of get buried and I don't scroll all the way to the very bottom, but um, I definitely check every day and answer definitely the top few comments and as many as pop up on my screen. So thank you and practice hard. See you next time.